And welcome back, everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on for a special stream today. Of course, we are doing our sub battle stream. It's the last Saturday of the month. Uh, this is going to be part two. You know, we break this up in about two hour intervals or so. Um, so far, I have a three to two lead on the chat. And so determine what deck I'll be playing up next. We're going to be spinning the wheel. But first, we have to figure out who our opponent is. So I think everybody, it looks like, in chat is, is joined and is ready to go. All right, Aegis Warn. Aegis, you're going to be up next. So yeah, I guess uh, so. I'm not really explaining it here with part two. If you if uh, you're not sure, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not really exactly sure how we're doing this, uh, hopefully check out part one uh, where I go more into detail. But basically, I'm playing against subscribers all day. Awesome! Thanks for sending me that gamer tag. There is mine. And let's spin this wheel. See what deck we're playing. The wheel originally had 44 decks from the last few weeks that we have been playing here on stream. Each time. Um, a choice comes up, it gets removed, so we're down to 39, and we're on mono black aggro now. So similar kind of deck to what we just played the last round, where we just played Rakdos aggro. Where's mono black aggro? Here we go. This was our very first Throwback Thursday deck, maybe? It was part of the very first Throwback Thursday, but yeah, we got... Knight, Rotting Registrar, we got Ruin Raider, we got Dreadshade. We only have 19 lands. Let's go. Alright, make sure it's best of three. I gotta switch that again now. Best of three, coin flip. And here we go. Good luck, Aegis Warren. Alright, Mono Black Aggro. Team chat. Trying to even the score up. We need our black cat with our mono black deck. Ugh, get a good stretch in. Attack. And the pile of, pile of bones goes to the graveyard. Sending, sending that pile of bones away. Alright, let's get some card draw in here. <laughs> GG's, alright, yeah, GG's. Very good there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just attacking. Hmm. I play the dino that's really hard to kill with red removal spells. Um, Ruin Raider and Rotting Regisaur, we've kind of learned, don't necessarily play perfectly together. Alright, I'll save Legion's End for next turn. So whatever card we draw with with Ruin Raider, we're gonna just discard. We're empty in the hand. And then yeah, like so we, we get the swamp, we'll discard the swamp to the rotting registrar. No flame sweep is good. But all instant speed spells is kind of rough because then they get to make the servo tokens at instant speed. I 
It's okay, you can play an Izzet deck too. Just because Aegis Warren's playing an Izzet deck doesn't mean you can't. If I play Knight, then uh, I have to discard Legion's End, which I don't think I want to do. So I'll just make it, I'm going to make another zombie here with Graveyard Marshal. Yeah, I, could, I guess I could have played Knight and then returned Gutter Bones and discard Gutter Bones. And then I'll have a 2-3 instead of a 2-2. Two, two. There's always instant speed spells. We haven't been able to legions and the tokens. All right, we got there though. All right, no flame sweep was found. So duress is a pretty obvious one here. Um, Midnight Reaper seems pretty good too. Uh, we could go drill bit also. I think I'm going to take out. I like taking out freebooter against shock decks. And I mean, I guess I don't need like this much removal though too. We don't really know what they have going on. You know, I could see like crackling Drake for having cast down. Do I want Legion's End for servo tokens? I mean, I don't really. Vampire of the Dire Moon is pretty terrible against servo tokens. We could trim some of those. Get an extra cast down and a couple Legion's Ends. Or one Legion's End, one Elder Spell. I'll do that. Thank you, Storm. Glad you're impressed by my gaming skills there. Just four turns in a row of clicking attack all. It was pretty tough. Play some of Johnny's Pride Mates. One of the decks on in the wheel that I'm spinning. So we have 38 left, so one out of 38 is in a Johnny's Pride Mate deck. That's like your odds at roulette, right? One out of 38 of like hitting a number. Because they have like the zero and the double zero. But then they pay out like one to 36 and pretend like those aren't actual numbers on their board. Oh, you're playing land destruction if you get in boot? Ionize. Wasn't expecting that one as much. The Diagraph Ghoul is getting work done, though. Possible I should have just waited another turn on the Dread Shade because of Lava Coil. Yay, no Lava Coil.
Hey, Vatur. Welcome. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. Thanks for the support. You are awesome. Thank you so much. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. A bunch of new burn spells. <clears throat> yep, we got about nine and a half hours. Still on the 12 hour stream. If I'm clicking up. Spacebar? There we go. Pour some more water. Come on, Chandra. Remember that spell. Training is so hard. And Dread Shade is just pretty good. It's so big. Cannot be killed. You know, they kind of have to jump block. Yeah, they have to jump block because this is lethal. <clears throat> Still, just have you know, like the two two different five fives. Okay, mono black aggro looked pretty impressive there. I had really good hands both those games. I had really good hands. GG's Aegis Warren. Yeah, red removal, it, that is really tough. Those really big creatures. Do you have, um, you have like Beacon Bolt? I think that's that's like your card with like blue red. You could play maybe some Beacon Bolts. Um, but yeah, it's, that's really tough. Okay, uh, if you're a subscriber, you want to be the next person, get team chat back in the win column. Type the word battle into the chat. Yeah, Star of Extinction. That card's sweet. That card is sweet. All right, looks like we're getting more people in here now. Awesome. All right, last chance. Last chance for everybody to get in. And who was the winner? Samantha. All right, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag. And let's see what deck I'll be playing. Abundance Ramp. All right, so I don't even really remember what Abundance Ramp is like. It's probably been over, it's probably been like a month, you know, maybe five or six weeks. This is a donation deck from long ago. What do we got? So I know it's a ley line of Abundance. Okay, we got eight Hydras, some manipulations. Uh, yeah, challenge match, best of three, coin flip. Basically, just change it to whatever the first things are. Just change it to best of three. Yeah, the biggest mana deck there is. That's right. That's what we called it. The biggest mana deck there is. Good memory there, Eisenhower. Yeah, that's right. That was the. That was, my title on the. For the YouTube video for this one.
yuck. Just an incubation druid. It's pretty slow. It's pretty slow. Do we need to be super fast game one though? I mean, basically, we have Krasis, right? And, like, Krasis kind of fix everything. Fixes everything. I'll ship it. All right, this is the same kind of hand, but better. We'll get rid of this card. I'm not casting that for a while. I don't even know if this is better. This is actually just worse. I guess we have one less land. But we got the temple. And our mana creature has hexproof. Samantha was down to five cards, though. Ooh. Amara. Is this like an Abzan hero deck? Could be Abzan tokens. Power surges through these lands. Harness the elements. All right, now it's my turn to abuse the power of Nissa. Not even mad at it. This is pretty broken. What? But... Forest. Yeah. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could do Krasis for six right now, which means draw three. Or if I wait a turn, we adapt Incubation Druid, and then it's... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So waiting a turn, we do Krasis for nine. So it's only drawing one extra card. I think we'll just do Krasis for six. That was like the best Krasis you ever uh, I've ever seen. Yeah, Legion's End. Would have been insane right there. Yeah, that would have been a great Legion's End. I protect that which cannot protect itself. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So like the next turn you just have like two extra mana for Krasis, but oh yeah, by the way, you also just played Anissa. So I attack, I let Nissa die. It's fine. Legion's End? No. Poor Abzan tokens. These crises are just so not fair. And this is so not fair. Ugh. All right, we're getting the pig in here. We'll get rid of mass manipulation against the Tristani deck. Get rid of that. And let's get some pigs.
Yeah, yeah, Samantha molded a five. It was that was rough. <laughs> just heard you say fin er, sorry, just heard you say Nissa is not fair as I do finale of glory for twelve on turn five. Yeah, that doesn't sound very fair. <laughs> Leyline's always that that next card. I was talking about this with with Boot actually earlier. I think one one way that would have made all of these war planeswalkers, or one thing I would have liked with basically all of them, is like I don't like these passive abilities. I really don't. I wish all of these passive abilities were all just a plus one ability. I wish they just had. An extra ability like where you you could plus one Nissa and then whenever you tap a forest for mana the next turn you gain an additional one or you can plus one and do this other thing I feel like all of them would have been better if that was just a, a plus one ability you know like Teferi you could plus one and then your opponents can't cast instants or can't can only cast spells like sorcery speed until your next turn and so on So Leyline Abundance uses my mana better, but um, but then I like tap my Paradise Druid to, to cast it, and then if they kill the Paradise Druid, then I'm sitting at just the three mana again. Because like all these Planeswalkers have like the two abilities instead of like the normal three. Time. I will protect the virtue of this world. The land fights for us. Tessa. Ow. I abhor my need for blood. Oh, I don't know how much mana we have, but it's a lot. Behold, nature's true power. All right, so this taps for three now. These, this taps for three, so three, six, and then seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, plus this one here. Those one, so 13. So we can do 11. Totally fair. Totes fair. <laughs> that was, yeah, turn five, Crisis for 11. <laughs> Yuck. What? And that's after not doing anything on turn one. And then just playing a two drop on turn two, two drop on turn three. I will endure. Um, I have a lot of mana here. Uh, 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. All right, I'm counting 21 mana. I feel like I should probably just do Krasis for 19, because that's just silly. I could ley line a couple of times. Also, I think it's just Krasis for 19. We'll see if I miscounted my man at all.
That's Orn. Another day, Kerr. Uh, discard seven cards. That's a lot of cards. Um. Not discard enough cards yet. All right, I wonder how big we can make this voracious Hydra with doubling the counters next turn. Samantha, don't quit yet. Don't quit yet. Y'all are saying 40? I think more than that. Rise, my elemental friend. So 2, 4, 6, 9, 11, 13, 15, 18, 21, 24 mana. So we can do 22. Just the that was turn seven, a forty four forty five on turn seven. Just get a, a forty four forty five trampler on turn seven. After you already played eleven eleven trampler and then nineteen nineteen trampler the pre the two previous turns. <laughs> I'm sorry, Samantha, that was just not what your deck wanted to face at all. Yeah, Nissa, Krasis, those cards are ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. 74 power for those three creatures. Wow. All right, who is going to be up next? If you're a subscriber, you're going to be up next. Type a battle into the chat. Yeah, I don't I don't like Tesa too much for the black white deck. Not too big on Tesa. Okay. You just like the the guild leaders? Okay, gotcha. Want to make the guild leaders kind of deck? Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, is everybody, all subscribers type battle in there? Okay, cool. No worries. All right, let's see who is up. Inversed. Do you want to be up in verse? You said you said no battle, but you know if you just type the word if you just type the letters battle, it triggers. But you said no. Yeah, yeah, you did. I mean, you you typed those those letters together. So do you want me to redo? Find somebody else. All right, pass you. All right. All right, six one nine. Six one nine. All right, send me that gamer tag. Let's spin the wheel. What are we? What are we playing? All 
I I love how how uh, everybody's uh, just you know so like cheering each other on. I really like that. You know, seeing you know four or five people just immediately you know cheering on six one nine. All right, I'm playing Bant Tribal. Bant Tribal's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let's check out Bant Tribal. Where is it at? Here it is. This is where we try to get a whole bunch of like the same creature type. We either want a whole bunch of elementals for Risen Reef, a whole bunch of Nightpack Ambushers and Wolves, or a whole bunch of Oozes. So we got three different tribes that we're re representing here in our tribal deck. All right, it's Bant Tribal. Down to down to down. Oops. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is beat up your boss day. <laughs> so today is. All right, easy keep. Oh no! Turn one land war elf. Busted. Um, this shirt was. A little slow there, land war elf. This is a Mark Anthony shirt from Coles. Yay, not Nissa. So much mana. Oh my gosh. Have y'all ever seen quads elves? Quad elves? Four of a kind. It's going to be a pretty big crisis. I guess not crisis. Well, it still could be. We'll get these blocks in. To now Cry of the Carnarium takes out my board. Oh, uh, they weren't ramping into Cry of the Carnarium. more reliable than human. The mysteries of life are endless. Oh, whoops. I hit the... Sorry, I hit the mute button. Um... What I was saying is I, I got, uh, hey, Synchrist, I got excited. Oh, no. Oh. The horror. All the, the massacres. Oh, that was what I was going to Neoform into to copy the use. Wait, you think nature is kind? No, not kind at all. Come on, let's get another ooze. Oozes are fun. It's probably better to go Risen Reef, copy Risen Reef, and, you know, go from there. Honestly, because that, that makes my Neoform better also. I can't pass up a good ooze. Way to go, Choco. Finished Diamond 3. Good job. 
Oozing for a bruising. No, not the Frilled Mystic. I needed more ooze. I didn't have enough ooze. You want Masker Boy in the next set? Alright, bunch of Frilled Mystics. I guess I, I need to... I should play around those, I suppose. Alright, well I don't have any more oozes left. That, those are my three. Two are dead, one's in play. Yeah, looking like I should have gone Risen Reef. Ugh. Oh, I could have made two. I should have shocked. Should have shocked. Deckmaster should be working. Uh, maybe just try refresh in the stream. Usually if Deckmaster's not working for you, you should just refresh. Uh, 619 has just been drawing spell after spell after spell here. Now I'm drawing a bunch of lands. There's just back-to-back -back Frilled Mystic, then Cavalier, then Chupacabra, then Risen Reef. I don't know. If I attack, they just get to chump block with Cavalier Thorns and get another Risen Reef and draw more cards. I think this is over now. I guess I have to start attacking. Alright, so I got really punished by not choosing the Risen Reef. I would have had tons and tons of cards if I would have just chose Risen Reef. That's kind of odd. Okay. Want to clear up the board again with Masker Girl? I'm kind of fine with that. I'm fine getting rid of this Risen Reef. Or is that just for... I guess that's just for backup. No, I don't have any Tristanis. No. So I think the best blocks here are having like two hostage takers block the 4-4, four, four. two chupacabras block the 3-3. Three, three. Well, no, I guess. Yeah, I guess the 6-6 six, six is the biggest problem. Though.
I think if they would have just let their let their cavalier get back another risen reef and then also mirror image risen reef. Oh, I should have changed those, but oh well. Well, now Masker Girl only kills Risen Reef, doesn't kill any of the three toughness things. So we're actually set up really well here. Yeah, now, yeah, Masker Girl doesn't have the 2 2 anymore. Four six one nine is probably like real nervous. Also, I know a lot. A lot of people get nervous on the sub battle days. You know, at different times. Yeah, I just don't need to play Ambusher. Like, I guess, like, playing, like, the Ambushers is... Like, lethal, I suppose. I guess we should do it. I just don't really need to, though. So both of us, like, the big mistake I made was I did I grabbed Ooze instead of just making a whole bunch of Risen Reefs and drawing millions of cards, and then 619, same thing, grabbed, like, just chump-locked with Masker Girl and grabbed Masker Girl instead of getting another Risen Reef and making a whole bunch of Risen Reefs and drawing millions of cards. So that's where we both we both didn't prioritize Risen Reef and it cost us. Yeah, it was a good game one though. Favorite breakfast foods? I really like cereal. I like cereals a lot. I don't like I don't like bacon. Eggs not huge on either. I mean they're they're fine. Like eggs are fine, like pancakes and waffles are fine. I don't have those very often. Like at all, you know, like once every couple of years, I'll have pancakes or waffles or something like that. I just I'm cereal for the morning. Uh, let's see. Vela Summer stops like these chupacabra hostage taker stuff. Tulsmer is good against that stuff, kind of. Um, Deputy detention not as good because that thing that thing's just gonna die. They'll get their things back. And I don't think I really want Cavalier of Thorns. So what if we go with this? I probably want Vivian for more card advantage. Nah, this is fine. Oh, definitely with milk. Yeah, definitely with milk. And I'm, I'm not. I'm a like an an granola cereal kind of person. I like granola like granola cereals and like. You know, like your vanilla almond type stuff. I don't. I don't do like the sugar cereals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm an American. Not many. Not many Americans don't like bacon either. What is granola? Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know. Maybe just Google granola. I guess it's like oats and grains. I guess I don't. I don't know how to describe what granola is. I like I like eggs. Eggs are fine. I just don't really have them too much ever.
Yeah, we're we're doing 12 hour stream today. We are now three hours into the stream. We're going till 10 p.m. Eastern. And it's one o'clock now. The reef has risen. Oh, I should could clone their cards. Ooh, so Sultai Arcbow. This is a sweet deck. So I don't want to like play my clone effects immediately because if I do, they could just have, you know, like cast down, and then I don't get to like, then I have to like clone like the Leaf King Druid. So I want to play the other Ambusher first. This is making me not so good against Massacre Girl, but oh well. Hope no Masker Girl. We're gonna get Tulsimer. So this is gonna be pretty sweet. So we're gonna kill the Hostage Shaker, which then puts Nightpack Ambusher into play, which triggers Tulsimer, which then is gonna kill this Risen Reef. Honestly, I should probably just be killing the Land War Elf though. With no land drop over there. But I guess Masker Girl doesn't doesn't actually kill stuff now. Okay. Well there goes down there goes something. <laughs> yeah, Tulsimer, yeah, Tulsimer with Nightpack Ambusher is sweet. So we'll spark double the ambusher comes in with a counter because the spark double also is pumped by the other ambushers. So it's a 6-6. Six, six. And Tulsimer trigger, gain 3 life, fight. They get Risen Reef back, but uh, we have too much power. And there we go, Bant Tribal. Bant Tribal is pretty fun. Yeah, this weekend, Domino's doing 50% off all, like, their menu price for all their pizzas until, until tomorrow, until September 1st. GG six one nine. GG's. Um, all right. So if you are a subscriber, want to be the next person to play, type the word "battle" into the chat. <laughs> I 
Now, Soul Tide Arc Bow is great. It's pretty great. But it was a good it was a good battle of the creature decks there. Um but yeah, so every every time that Ambusher puts in a wolf like end step, if you don't cast stuff, if you have Tulsmer in play, each one of those wolves you gain three life and the wolf can fight something. So that's really cool. Alright, is everybody getting on in there? We're about to be spinning this wheel. All right, let's see who who's up next. Real Hirad. Hirand. Hirand. Real Hirand. Send me that gamer tag. All right, I'm spinning the wheel because I can't decide. So wheel decide for me. Thank you so much. The Jundis League. Play on words there with the Justice League. A movie that I saw a few weeks ago for the first time. And you know what? It wasn't so bad. People rag on the DC movies and everything. I haven't really seen like any of the other DC movies, but um, but I saw that and Wonder Woman, and both of them were pretty good. I know the ones that most of the people rag on are some other ones, though. Uh, like there's like a Batman versus Superman. I guess that that was supposed to be really bad. I didn't see that. Anyway, what am I playing? The oh yeah, the Jundis League. Where's that deck? There you are. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was really good. Okay, so DC brought on Jeff Johns, and that's the person that's made their films a lot better. Cool. But yeah, I only saw those two. I didn't see, I didn't even see like Aquaman. I kind of want, I want to see that one. But I only saw Wonder Woman and um, and the Justice League, and both those two movies were pretty good. So yeah, that's what this. That's what this. Uh, deck is is we're we're bringing all the the planeswalkers in the, it's like jun to super friends that's what this deck is all right make sure you have best of three coin flip yeah those are those are the three uh yeah, Batman vs Superman and Suicide Squad. I heard those two were awful. I I didn't I haven't really heard anything about Superman's, but that one was terrible too. With the Justice League, the biggest thing that I didn't like about it is I think they had one of the Baldwins was playing Batman, I think. Or who was playing whoever was playing Batman was not a good Batman. I did I did not like that character. Like the actor for Batman. That was the biggest problem that I had with that movie. Alright, Hirand, good luck. It was Ben Affleck. Okay. That's who it was. Yeah, that was not a good Batman. Ben Affleck was not a good Batman. That was my biggest problem with the movie. Yeah, oh, I didn't like the Flash dude either. Yeah, that was another thing I didn't really like. It was too electricity. Too much, like, electricity, like, everywhere, where... Flash is supposed to be, like, kind of, like, unnoticeable, but there was just so much electricity that it's, like, very noticeable. Yeah, I should probably coil that. All 
honestly could have just passed and like if there's like crackling drake here bedevil crackling drake then untap and then angrath steal enigma drake yeah that's what i should have done no fire no steel So yeah, the discarding the spell grows Crackling Drake, so like, you know, any burn spell will kill Angrath. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, so it looks like we're playing against Jeskai Drakes. Bleh. Ram a new course free. Okay, should have just passed originally. Oh, God's willing. Well, I got God. I forgot about God's willing. I just forgot about that being a card. I was thinking dive down. I was like, well, he can't dive down here, so I should bedevil right now. I was just thinking of dive down. Forgot about God's willing. All right, played this game pretty terribly, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, Storm, this is definitely your deck right here. Let's do this. Evil must not be tolerated. Good choice. Thank you. All right. Could have been better. Am I dead? Another burn spell. Not yet. But I am at two. Any strike or shock is going to kill me. This but we are... Average zombie horde. I mean, Hiran is going to have this most likely. I'd have to get really, really lucky to win from here. That was just a fast keep. So there we go. Shock number four. <clears throat> All right, I threw that game away. Could have been a, a win with different playing for sure. But we're going to move on to game two. Legion's End out of here. All these duresses in here. Get this extra coil. Get this extra bedevil. Um... I don't want Soot. I think I'm cutting Domri and Golgari Queen. Nah, I'm going to just trim a couple spellbreakers. Yeah, I could just take out something big. If I take out something big, it would be Angrath. Um, yeah, I have I have a wheel. I put I had I put all the decks we've been playing over the last few weeks, month, or so up on a wheel, and I spin the wheel. 
um, each round to, to determine what deck I'm playing. We had 44 decks at the beginning this time, and so this is deck number 9. So we still got 35 decks left on the, the wheel. Yeah, Sloth, this is your donation deck from, like, forever ago. I kept this around. Would be able to have a whole lot more than than more, a whole lot more decks if Arena would let us keep more than sixty. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we'll get all thirty-five decks in. So we've gone through nine and. Three and a quarter hours. Angrath minus is to one, right? I guess I have backup Angrath. Ever seen water burn your crew for my freedom? <laughs> pro Cust. With Pro, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the support. I appreciate that. That is sub number eight on the day. Thanks for that support. I know I, I updated it uh, some time ago, a few weeks ago. Next time. This donation deck. I up updated it like a few weeks ago. Sultai Dread Horde. Um... I like Sultai Dread Horde. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how good it is. I feel like you probably want to be going like Field of the Dead stuff with Sultai Dread Horde these days. But Command the Dread Horde is just an incredibly powerful card if you can pull it off. And no one is telling me what to do. Oh, looks like All right, not gonna let them, you know, like, look like they had a counter spell up there. You know, they shocked in for that blue source. So we're going with Chandra. That can't be countered. Ugh, reduced to embers. This 1-1 one, one is killing all my Planeswalkers. Here, I don't like this 1-1. One, one. I think it's just zero power, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even have... Because I don't have any spells in mine. So just you know, basically playing Angrath as a removal spell here. Need to just kill their Drakes. And hope... This Chandra Emblem does some work. I know I should have minus one Chandra and gotten rid of this one one. Yeah. Until you have lived as a statue, do not well chosen. Do not well chosen. Be tough. The best way to destroy things. I have let my friends down. All right, still have a chance. I 
No, I don't have any steel overseer bid builds. Yeah, this one one no token <laughs> just wrecked me. I had a two two token to match it, but it got shocked. Still four cards in hand over there. GG's. No, they're plus two, Chandra. Good games, Hurand. GG's. I could have got the first one. I threw that one away. But I don't know. Like, I, I was definitely losing that game, and I don't think I was probably going to win a game three. Just a bunch of cheap interaction, like counter spells and stuff against all my big planeswalkers. I don't think I was winning that. Even if I would have played correctly game one. Okay, that was an updated deck list from a donation deck a while ago. Okay, nice. Yeah, it was looking it looked good. It was looking good. I liked it. Okay. Alright, let's see who's up next. Team chat. Grabbing the win there. So if you are a subscriber, want to be the next one to play, type the word battle just like everybody else is doing there into the chat. All right, is everybody in there? Give y'all just a minute. We're going to be spinning this wheel, seeing what deck I'm playing. Also. All right, I guess everybody's in there. Here we go. Who we got? Caesar. All right, Caesar, send me that gamer tag. Perfect. All right, there's mine for you to copy paste. Chandra Tribal. Let's get some more Planeswalkers. What's our Chandra Tribal look at, deck looking like these days? I'm planning on this is a deck we're going to be I'm going to be remaking for Monday. I'm going to be making a rotation proof Chandra Tribal. What does it look like? Okay. Whole bunch of mountains. Looking good. Oh yeah, get that style in. There we go. Now everything but Blood Sun has a style. Do a Blood Sun. Alright, challenge match, best of three, coin flip. <laughs> Thanks, Wake. Yeah, we're just playing just entertaining decks over and over and over again. Ugh. So it, that's what sub battle streams are all about. Like chat brings their sweet decks. I'm playing different decks all the time. And we have fun. Jungle Hollow. So with Jungle Hollow, I'm kind of feeling... Feeling like that could be a Field of the Dead deck. Yes, seeming like Field of the Dead here. Chain Whirler gets some pressure out there. Even though Chain Whirler could clear up an Elvish Rejuvenator. If I wait. Oh no, my Regulator. I was thinking it was shocked in for um, Growth Spiral. I was expecting Growth Spiral here. 
My poor regulator. I was gonna be di discarding shock and stuff. Ooh. No, all right, looks like elementals. Uh, thanks, Sloth. Three toughness, two damage. Sad face. No, <laughs> these trophies. Figure it out on your own. My poor cool permanence. Turn it into mountains. Ooh. Uh I guess that card doesn't do very much. Well, it kinda does. I guess I can need a fire shock these druids now. No. Oh, they're so cute. It's probably good to double stone rain. No blocks? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Wonder why you wouldn't block. Well, our opponents. Yeah, I mean, we ha we just can do eight damage upstairs now because we can minus two the Chandra. But if you're scared of shocks... If you're scared of shocks, aren't you kind of scared of dying also, though? Mother Ludi always say, fight fire with fire. What's up, Yud? We cast five shocks that game. All right, so your rock is really hard to kill. I, I guess I have, I have the Chandra's Triumphs. Okay, okay, we have we have something. I'm not sure if I really want to change very much. Is Coil better than Shock? Probably. Yeah, it's probably better to play Coil than Shock. I think I'm just gonna do that. Just put in coils, take out the shocks. After the shocks won won us that game. <laughs> RR for double stone rain seems way above the curve. Yeah, that would have been good. Okay. Yeah, one mana sinkhole is not right, but neither is one mana mox, which is what Land War Elf is. One mana mox emerald. That's pretty broken too. Yeah, I don't I don't know why it did that to you, Kitty. Yeah, if you just click on them, it should work. Oh no. Boo. Chandra, 
We need more control. Say hi to my fiery friends. That's that's not good. Okay, good. And scry to the top. I like seeing that. I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's gonna be fun. Say hi to my fiery friends. Oh gosh, look at all these friends. You don't get enough Chandra novice pyromancer. It's gonna be Elder Spell. Please no Elder Spell. Well, I guess these coils would have would have been better as shocks for now. Oh, my spirit's been doused. Go get him, buddies. You burning. Yeah, because I would have 10 points of burn if they were shocks. All right, opponent's starting to do stuff. Just play an Elder Spell. Ew, that's not quite good enough. Okay. Gain a life. Good. Good form, good form. So, of course, we can minus two the Chandra to recast a lightning strike. But instead, we can do this together. I want to ultimate Chandra. I'd rather do that. Yeah, that was just really unfortunate with just the one lander there. I had a really good curve both times. Good hands, a whole bunch of burn spells. Uh, Chandra Tribal deck looked good. There. Yeah, Mono Red can't be pretty mean. Sure can be. GG's. Oh, I'm sorry, Caesar. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, all right, so we do. All right, if you want to be up next, type battle. Yeah, that's what like burn spells. That's why burn spells are so good because you know like they're they're good removal spells, but they can also just win games by you know killing opponents. They're so versatile. Just a life gain in lands. Don't have like duress or negate or anything like that. Those would have been real good cards to have there. All right, so yeah, all the subscribers that want to that want to play, type the word battle into the chat. All right, looks like everybody's in there. Uh, I don't know, shock if that's still up to date or not. I don't know. 
like those are um, like those are all the ones that have been around recently. I don't know if those are all available still. But yeah, there's there hasn't been anything in the last two weeks. All right, everybody's in there. Okay. Kaios. All right, Kaios. Send me that gamer tag. Oh, we're getting milled. All right, we'll see what what deck's good against mill. Let's see what I'm playing. Rakdos Aristocrats. All right, what does our Rakdos Aristocrats deck look like? It's another one. It's been a little, a little time since we played this deck. Where is it at? It's way down here. <laughs> Just one with getting three demanding dragons off the mirror march. Oh, that is awesome. All right, this is our Rakdos Aristocrats deck. We played this recently for um, Rotation Proof Monday. That's where we played it recently. Ooh, gotta change that. Gotta. Choose that best of three. Choose that best of three. Ugh. Just challenge match, best of three, coin flip. That's all you need to choose. Don't need to change anything except for just change the best of one to best of three and leave the others alone. There it goes. Perfect. All right. Good luck, Kaios. See, we need a mulligan here so that we have 54 cards in our library, so it's harder to get milled. Got to get that extra card in the library, see? Mulliganing smart. I'm playing playing for the long game over here. I bet y'all didn't think of that. Didn't see that line. If we keep seven, we only had fifty-three. We had fifty-three in the library, but keep six, you get fifty-four. I'll watch. We're gonna be. We're only gonna have one card left. I guess we're not gonna be doing the minus two bit. These little guys are great. This has been a nightmare. And of course, whenever you you sacrifice those elemental creatures to Chandra, then Mayhem Devil gets to trigger. All the damages. Hey, these little guys are great. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to mute. It just. It clicked over there. Dovin's acuity. Okay.
I like it. Get that life gain. Go get him, buddies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that creature so that I can start attaching the mask to these other creatures and sacrificing them. Mask is being so slow. Attach. There you go. Sacrifice. What? Planar right? cleansing? Whoa. The plane has been cleansed. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that either, kitty. We're getting wrecked here now. Dome's acuity is going to take over. Gain two life every turn. That's pretty sweet. This is a card that I just I've never really played. It's a pretty powerful card. Like that's pretty cool. Like, look at that. Seven cards in hand still. Hitting all these land drops. Alright, I'm pretty jealous. I had a really good aggressive start and everything. And my opponent's just crushing me. This is what sub battle stream's all about. Get, uh... Get some new... Or get to see some new decks. You don't always see. Yeah, Kyle's brought some spice. Yeah, right? Can we side in thought distortion? <laughs> I like this Bond of Insights. Finale. I mean, Revitalize, of course, is just a, is a given. No. No Exile. I will shock the Red Horde Butcher. Take that. Mastermind's Acquisition. Choose a card from the sideboard. What we got over here? <laughs> yeah, Rampaging Ferocidon. All right, Bag of Bones. Yeah, let my opponent do... I mean, I could have conceded a, a long time ago, but I want to let Kaios do their thing. Gain 20. Still got this. Just 20 life. Mirari Conjecture, do it again. <laughs> yeah, it's disappointing. Yeah, 
We're just so we're gonna get milled. Wow, discards Dovin's acuity. Wow. Hey, don't start any fires without me. Say hi to my fiery friends. All right, down to twenty-three. I wish Starfield Mystic did something like, you know, draw a card or something. That's a sweet animation. All right, so they get to shuffle their graveyard back into their library. Shuffle their graveyard back into their library and they have no maximum hand size the rest of the game. We can just keep all these cards in hand. And now next turn, Mirari Conjecture, a third chapter, are going to go off. So all of their spells are doubled here this turn. Also, yeah, that, that's a spell that doesn't really matter too much that it's doubled. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Don't get that gain life. They don't really need the game life, though. All right, Bond of Insight. That's pretty cool. Just milling with Bond of Insight and... Enter the God Eternals. That's really cool. Cast another Bond of Insight. Mill four again. And we'll mill eight again. I wonder what the plan is for Nexus. I'm sure Kyos has a plan for Nexus, but I wonder what it is. I It could just be acquisition for Unmoored Ego from the sideboard and then Ego away Nexus. That could be it. No, that, that's probably the plan is like these acquisitions. You just you just go grab one more ego from your sideboard. Everything is gone. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing against Mill. Exile entire deck. I don't have a lot. I got a couple of duresses, I suppose. <laughs> I don't think I'm winning this. I had a really good hand there that last game, and, and I was destroyed. Well, this is also a really good hand. Comics and collectibles. Thank you so much for that support. Welcome to the channel. So 
Sub number nine on the day. That hand doesn't look as good. Alright, to kind of protect against... Let's see, what does a better job protecting against sweepers? Judith or Chandra? Chandra, remember that spell. Consider this ah, the Elder Spell. Burn. They had it this time. All right, converting on over to a tier one so Thanks, Comics and Collectibles. The Dreadhorde Butcher was a really good draw for me. Plus, you know, just hitting the land drops. We got pretty lucky there. All right, game three. That's what we need. We need Kyos to just flood out like that. And then we got a shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you booing? Yeah, I understand. Kyos deck's pretty cool. Maybe Kyos will send me the list afterwards and I'll play that deck also. We've gotten a few a few different cool decks today. Go, gutter bones, go. <laughs> Kayo's wrath. Could be a great cry of the carnarium. Okay. No cry the carnarium. Very good. I don't really want to extend too much more into Kaio's wrath. Oh, no white sor no double white source. Uh there's cry. Oh, that's just going to exile anyway. That's right. Cry just exiles anyway. What am I doing? All right. Well, I missed one point. Yeah. Would have much preferred Kaio's Wrath to Cry the Carnarium, not get my cards exiled. Um... All right, so I missed that point of damage. We'll see if being at 14 or 13 is a huge difference. I know, right? Yeah, Cry the Carnarium is just so good against Rakdos, but isn't this like a Rakdos card? That does seem weird. Uh...
All right, well, I think this 4-4 four four is just going to kill me. Also. It's not looking like that one life is mattering too much over here. From earlier. Yeah, this is likely game. Seven cards over there. I don't think we're beating seven cards. I'll be surprised if we do at least. That's a really good draw. Uh, You're not scared, you I don't really want to show that I have Chandra. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if, if they masterminds acquisitioned for something pretty expensive that they can't cast yet. And then I'm going to have... Oh, right. I'm not going to have Chandra duress anyway because of stupid Ashiok. I'm not going to be able to Chandra minus and duress. Anyway. Without me, don't worry. I brought company. I lost my appetite. Yuck. Turning ac acquisition and finale. Uh, so dead. These Bond of Insights have looked awesome, though. That's really cool. Alright, cool looking deck. GG's. Alright, team chat on the board. With the win there. All right, seven to four. GG's, Kaios. That was a really cool looking deck there, Kaios. I liked it quite a bit. If you have, if you'd like me to play the deck on stream sometime, uh, feel free to send me that deck list. Cause yeah, that was a cool looking deck. I'll play that. Um. All right, let's start the next match. Let's do like one more match. Uh, maybe before ending part two here. Maybe two more matches. All right, so yeah, if you're a subscriber, type battle into the chat, just like everybody else is doing. If you want to play against me up next. All right, get on in there. Our wheel's getting a little smaller. Getting a little smaller. We've gone through 11 decks, so what, we got like 33 left. Okay, looks like everyone has entered. Lord Vandar. Vandor? Probably Land Lord Vandor. Vander? 
Mm. Dar, der, door. I don't know. Lord Vander, door. I can't decide. Anyway, send me your gamer tag. You're up next. We're just going to go with Lord. We just had Lord singing about Royals a little bit ago in the playlist during that last match. I remember that. All right, mono red goblins. We've been get, we've been hitting the red and black aggro decks for sure. There you go, Kaios, right there. Yep, poster tag here. Lord. All right, mono red goblins. Let's check. Let's check out our goblins list. It's been a while since we played some goblins. It's been even longer than the other decks. Where is it at? Way down here. All right, there we go, perfect. All right, so this is our goblin deck list. <laughs> wow, it's been a while since we played this. As you can tell, there's no Blood Suns. Uh, played this before Field of the Dead was a thing. We have to change that up, put some Blood Suns in here. Next time we play this deck, which I, which means I probably should play it again here. Ah, it's been a while. All right, Caesar. Take care. Vander, Vandor. Van. All right, Vandor. Go booze. Yeah, I gotta get these ring leaders. Yeah, Team or Extinction. I put Team or Extinction on the wheel there, Matthew, for you. Um, but yeah, I guess he said it's been a month since I played that deck. So yeah, I need to play that one again, too. Attack. It's not too difficult of a deck to play. You play your creatures and you attack with them. I did not remove it from the list. Better not be any Gates of Blaze here. Because I'll be dead. I think this is lethal, right? I think so. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so if there's no spells here, this is lethal. Oh, don't do it. Don't gain life. Don't gain life. No gain life. Zaxies. All right, so Gates of Blaze is going to be tough. I guess I played those. And cut some veterans. No, I probably want veterans. Kind of 
I think I cut Trash Masters, actually. All right, here we go. Thanks, Kaios. All right, I just need to draw some lands. We getting there? Yeah, Trog, you have the you have the badge there. Uh, I didn't get a notification though. Um, but you got the badge, so you're, you're good there. Yeah, opponent's playing gates. Oh, nice, Devo. Yeah, I think I think you're probably in there. Less than an hour, and you're at eight fifty. I think you're probably gonna get in there. All right, let's get the ringleader. New gobos. Look at that, new friends. Aw, Chandra's gone. New goblin friends. Land was the perfect draw for us. Take down this big ram. Yeah, two summits though. As long as Vandor finds... Ooh. So as long as Vandor find... Um, a gate to play. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm one point short. Right now. I can't do damage upstairs. That's why I kept Folly Veterans in, though. So we just got to do one more damage. We got Chain Whirler. We got Ember Haulers. We have War Boss. Like, we have a lot of ways to do extra damage in our hand. So this is really... Vandor's in a really tough spot. Yeah, your Ox animation is really cool, though. Now, Crater Maker only destroys colorless non-land permanents. So we can't... We can't destroy lands. Um, we're going to do two damage to our veterans so they don't gain life. They still get the 4-4. Four, four, they still mill. But they don't gain life. We'll get that Chain Whirler animation here. Mono red goblins. 
looking strong there. Had a couple of really good hands, and um, both those games, I like hit the exact amount of land drops I needed to, like right in time. Also, so that went perfectly for me. All right, that was a fast. One. Let's do one more. If you're a subscriber, want to be the next person to battle? Click type battle into the chat there. Yeah, GG's. GG's there, Lord. That's pretty cool, though. Like, you rock with Guild Summit, so you just draw extra cards. That's pretty cool. I didn't think about that. That's pretty cool. Just to learn so much stuff in these sub battle days. Nice. That makes sense, Kaios. That makes sense. Okay. Let's see who's up next. Uh, sorry, Goulart. Just for subscribers there. Angry Ben. All right, Angry Ben, you are up. So Angry Ben, send me that gamer tag. There's mine, let's spin the wheel. Let's see what deck I'm playing next. What do we got? Sultai Arcbow. Okay, we played against Sultai Arcbow earlier. Let's see. I'll show y'all Sol Sultai Arcbow right here. <laughs> Crispy chicken. <laughs> You're changing your name to Crispy Bacon. All right, here's our Sultai Arcbow deck. It's pretty great. Crispy chicken. All right, best of three coin flip. Here we go. All right, this is definitely a keep. All right, y'all, help me um, help refresh my memory. I I should have written these down at the time. I think after this, I'll start writing them down at the time. But what what were the what were the decks that we played so far for this video? So I can put them in the YouTube um, comments. I got the last three: Aristocrats, Goblins, and El Arcbo. What did we play before? So let's see, we, we had five before, this is 13, so we've played eight decks, so there's been five other decks. Does anybody remember them and the order that we played them? We played Jundus League, we played that right before Aristocrats, right? Or no, no, we played, we played yeah, Chandra Tribal right before Aristocrats. Chandra Tribal, and then Jundus League was before that. All right, so what were the three decks before the Jundus League? Oh yeah, Golgari Citadel was one of them. Bant Tribal, yeah, Bant Tribal was before Jundus League, Bant Tribal, and then Golgari Citadel was before that, and Abundance Ramp. What do we play first, Golgari Citadel or Abundance Ramp? I think Abundance Ramp and then Citadel. Okay. And y'all are good. 
Oh no. This is gonna be bad. All right, getting that out of here. So we don't have to worry about blood for bones with that. And now we'll be able to hold up for old mystic while being able to attack for two. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? Yeah, is it wizards was the first was one of the first five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure abundance ramp was the first deck we played this run. I think. I think I remember that. Oh yeah, Hawkeye is the best. Yep, I'm gonna go. Hawkeye's like, it's time for my lunch. And I'm like, yeah, Hawkeye, it is. We're gonna go feed Hawkeye after this match, whenever we take a break. Okay, this is your paper deck, Demir Agent here. Okay, cool. They don't want to bounce the Chupacabra. Land is really the best thing we can draw right now. If anybody has the time and, and wants to triple double check, And make sure that that was the order of the decks that we played. I would appreciate it. They want to just you know click click the vods and be able to double tab if you're on PC. It should be. A Abundant, like Abundance Ramp, then Citadel, then Ban Tribal. I think that's what we got. Yeah, Agent's definitely worth 7 mana. That card is awesome. Alright, one more mana and then I can play Risen Reef and still hold up Frilled Mystic. I doubt our opponent can beat a full house. Like, I, they could have four of a kind, I guess. Deathrill Mystics. <sighs> I 
So it's not game, because now Blast Zone will blow up all these four drops. Oh, mono black aggro may have been on this video. Come to think of it, I'm not sure. Man, Frilled Mystic so mean. Yeah, I guess we scry first. Um, yeah, it's better than a lot of things could be. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Have you ever lost a home? Well, we found the perfect card. Poor crispy chicken. So yeah, so that's Surveil 3, then return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. So they're going to be able to just bring back Agent of Treachery and steal like a Risen Reef. Can't even get that satisfaction of just having the Dusk Legion Zealot. Finish the game. Four Frilled Mystics. Okay, so this, the first one here was Mono Black, then Abundance. Was Citadel last video then? We try to take back the stuff they take. Hmm. Not sure if I really need that. We just ego away Agent of Treachery. Okay, Citadel was video one. Gotcha. Okay, so I had that wrong. Okay, cool. All right, yep. Then Bant, then... Okay, then I got it from there. Cool, thanks, Sloth. Okay. So this is 66. We're going to take out Playcrafter, take out... Um... They got this Cavalier, one choop. Alright, I'm just playing the one on where do you go? Yeah, there's probably other big reanimation targets and everything. Agent Treachery is a scary one though. But yeah, I guess I guess that big red dragon could be scary also. Agent's just seven mana. No, well, seven's a lot of mana. I just don't have it in here. Because like whenever whenever their deck wins, they usually, you know, win like turn four, turn five with like a big reanimation thing. I don't really want to have the seven mana card in the deck. Uh, this hand loses if we don't draw lands. We gotta draw two lands. 
but it's pretty good if we draw two lands, having Frilled Mystic up or just Arc Bow activation. Alright, there's one land. We need one more green land. We need one more green land. Perfect. Leafkin's a good card to discard. It lets them get their loot on. good spot here. <laughs> I thought that was you. Cavalier of Gales. Um. I'll just put the two lands back. I'll just keep these other cards in hand. And get rid of this Temple of Mystery. Of course, the, the Leafkin and the Land War Off, these are my... Those are my Arcbow fuel. Cavalier Girls back to the hand. Masker Girl. Reef or Cavalier? This is tough. They're both pretty good. I guess it's Reef. Always Reef, yeah. It is just kind of always Reef, isn't it? Too much value. Too much. So 
So Masker Girl and Tomebound Lich, which I have been told by y'all all the time that it's not Tombbound Lich, it's Tomebound Lich. So I'll try to start pronouncing that thing correctly. All right, so we're going to do our cool little trick here. Let's just take our Frilled Mystic. We have that available still. Or we have Arc Bow for five. Our deck just does so much stuff. So much stuff. <laughs> that does kind of feel like cheating, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, that taps for two right now, so I'm going to tap it right now while it taps for two. Oh, I should attack first. Whoops. I got too excited to do this again. Alright, whatever. We missed three points of damage. That's fine. Hey, Sea Wookiees. Man, you get double scry one? That's busted. Could get double Cavaliers Cavalier Gales triggers. Sure, why not? Alright, I like that order. Put these two back. And then Risen Reef. Put the land into play. And then draw three again. And then Risen Reef. Put the land into play. So I'm... I guess I should have put that land in my hand and then played it because I hadn't, hadn't played a land for turn yet. So I guess I was one because so then yeah I hadn't played a land so I should have put that in my hand and then and then just played it in shock so we could have had double frilled mystic. Yeah, you rock frilled mystic. Make sure that nothing ever resolves. Counter both spells. They try to like play a, um, yeah, play whatever spell and then like expansion it. And you're like, ah, counter both of them. I mean, just countering the original spell counters the expansion anyway, though. So that's not a good example. So it had to have, I don't know, somehow put multiple spells onto the stack at the same time, and then you play your frilled mystic with with your rock. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Angry Ben. The Frilled Mystic was insane, those games, and we just got so many Frilled Mystics. Sorry, Angry Ben. GG's, though. <laughs> yeah. That did. That was really rough for you there. All right, so sub battle stream. That's part two. Um, so we're gonna take just a quick break here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you click on over to part three. Continue on all the action. See all these sweet decks that we're playing. Having a lot of fun here. Uh, click on over there. I'll see you for the next video.